All right, so here's the Arctica power vest. It's a, a combination of a heated jacket and a revolutionary battery that's uh, in the back of this vest. And just to show you quickly, here's a LED. You can see the power setting and the heated setting. And by pressing this button, I get to decide how much uh, heat I want. Okay. It also lets me check the battery status and so on. And over here in the pocket, I have a USB power cord. This lets me charge almost any device that uses a USB. All you need is a proper adapter, which is easily available everywhere. All right. Now, just to show you a little bit more, inside is the Moshi power system, which is actually a, a flexible battery in the back. Okay. Okay, there we go. And so here is the battery unit. And just to show you how flexible this thing is, let's take it out here. You can see it flexes in the middle like that. And also flexes, you know, like so. So when you bend or when you stand up or when you lie down, you know, it flexes according to your body. And this whole thing is made of some sort of uh, almost like a soft material. The batteries itself, I heard, are made of aluminium, so it's pretty strong and light. Now the whole thing is pretty light. It's actually supposedly, this whole jacket is supposedly the weight of two iPhones. It's that light. It's just a few hundred grams, okay? This one goes to, each side goes to something. Once This one probably goes to the charging unit, okay? Meaning that this lets you uh, goes to the USB port that's in your pocket and actually lets you charge your cell phone, iPods and all that. I've tested it with my iPhone and it does charge the iPhone so it's pretty cool. Um, here is where it goes to the heating. So this jacket has front heating over here around the rib cage, and the battery itself heats up. So um, according to uh, the engineer, uh, Arica engineer, they're saying that um, it's designed such a way that it's supposed to heat the parts of your body where the, the blood vessels are uh, closest to the skin. Okay, that way your blood itself would help to distribute the heat throughout your body. So it's parts of your body that has the least amount of fats. And uh, I thought that was pretty interesting too to note. Um, so yeah, and when you're done, if, you, if the battery is you know, out of juice, you simply unplug these parts. Okay, it's pretty easy. And um, I'm just doing this one-handed again. That's why it's tough. But yeah, you can take this. And if, if they're, they're selling more of this, which they do, they will, you can simply swap it out. Or uh, you could even see this in you know, backpacks or, or maybe even pants or sleeping bags even so you can heat up um, other clothing and so on. Uh, can also heat up or, or charge other devices and so on and so forth. So this thing is pretty flexible. You then take this and you plug it to a wall charger and that's how it charges up. It charges in three hours flat but um, there's also a fast charge capability that will let it charge up to 80 uh, percent really fast. Okay so this is this is the the key ingredient okay the Moshi power system it's this battery pack which gives it so much um, life okay this whole thing supposedly can last you uh, just enough for a day of use uh, that is eight hours or so I believe and uh, I've used it uh, brought it out worn it for about three days already um, goes from morning till evening um, I don't use it all the time if I'm in the building doing work or whatnot uh, I'll turn it off okay but when I'm out in the streets and all that where I'm in the cold I'll turn it back on and it's pretty cool too so it charges your device and heats you at the same time. It's pretty cool that way. All right, we'll talk more with uh, one of the engineers behind the Arica power system. And his name is Martin Corpos. And we'll find out more about it. All right. Uh, Martin, tell us more about yourself and what you do. So I work at Arctica Technologies. I've been here uh, for about three and a half years. The uh, company was born in 2004. And uh, it's actually... Uh, the origins of the company are in uh, fuel cell technology and hydrogen, uh, hydrogen based fuel cells. So when I started, we had just started tackling this heated power jacket project. And where I came into play was uh, people hadn't been really working on the, 
jacket and jacket enabling components. It was mostly based on you know a lot of design revs of the the technology for the power source. Uh, so I came in and started working on the user interface, the the button right here, all the heating elements in the jacket, and how they were arranged in the jacket. You know, placement, weight distribution, um, you know, how the cables plugged in. And right now we have a team of three dedicated engineers on the Moshi project uh, that are working towards bringing this product to production in fall 2009. So myself, uh, I'm the project manager on the Moshi project and we've got um, Adam Rodriguez who works on the battery system and we've got Andrew Peterson who works on uh, basically and a couple other components that are involved with the system right now. So, so, so this version, uh, the, the Moshi system is a lithium-ion uh, battery pack. It's, ba it's lithium-ion based. Our, um, the future of the company, though, is hinging around uh, hydrogen-based fuel cell technology. Uh, and for now, that's in the R&D phases, and we're, we actually have a couple contracts with the military that we're working on, um, and basically working on the distribution of fuel for that product. Uh, for this, the Moshi project, though, we still have, you basically have the portable power aspect as well as the heat. And as you mentioned, um, in the left front pocket, excuse me, for your hands, you've got a USB port. Now, uh, the reason we picked the USB port is so uh, it's, you can charge any device that's USB chargeable, roughly. Um, the reason we didn't go with some type of proprietary tip system is, you know, there are entire companies that are, their business model is based on those types of tips and we figured you know to go with the USB standard where people can you know bring their own cords to the table or you know possibly down the line developing you know special Arctica cords for you know short lengths for pockets uh, you know that's a potential but to start with we, we uh, wanted to do the USB standard because it was a pretty well accepted charging uh, charging standard so technology and so uh, the nice thing about the advantage with fuel cell technology is a couple things one, you get better energy density. Uh, so for the same weight, you get a lot more power, or for less weight, you get the same amount of power, right? And so that's, uh, that's one big advantage. Uh, one of the distinctions, too, is you don't have to plug fuel cells in. They're not, it's not a rechargeable, you know, style um, power. Basically, it's cartridge-based. So you would have to, you know, you purchase cartridges, which is, like I said, one of the, the challenges right now is distribution of the fuel. But basically, you would have, you know, go to the store, buy, you know, a couple cartridges, and to charge devices, you know, you could get several laptop chargers off of, you know, one cartridge and basically have it, you know, alongside your, your Moshi system. Oh, uh, so just drop it in your bag. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we've basically been talking about development. In, in, in fall 2009, what's going to go on sale is uh, we're working with two partners, Mountain Hardware and Sitka. And we will be releasing uh, Artica-enabled garments with them and selling the Moshi system alongside it. Uh, immediately, basically, the Moshi system will come with what's called the backpack cable and uh, the wall cube, which you know, just used to charge the Moshi system. Well, that alone, just buying the Moshi system, you can take that, drop it in your backpack, drop it in any bag, and it has the USB output. So it's ready to go to charge devices you know, out of the box. Uh, for future products, we're definitely looking at, you know, a myriad of applications, you know, from, you know, a lot of the core portable power applications, you know, bags, you know, for camping, you know, sleeping bags, you know, that sort of thing. It, it, right now, it's a lot of ideas and we're, you know, we have some in development and just basically looking at that. That's kind of all I can say about it right now. Okay. But, uh, but right now in, in uh, January 2009, we're, we're kind of moving full steam with, with, uh, with different ideas, so. Artica.com, is that right? Yes, Artica.com, and you know we'll keep the the website updated with future uh, future product development. So. Oh, that's cool. Well, thanks a lot, Martin. All right. Well, Kevin, thank you very much for the uh, for the opportunity to speak with you. <laughs>